I suppose you recover your investment very early as well, right? Very quickly. This one, yes. In fact, I think I all, uh, actually I already recovered my investment in two months. Already? How's it going, Forza friends? We're here in the state of Mexico with Raul Franco from Motosmart, and we're going to talk a bit about his experience with the Forza Laser brand. First of all, Raul, it's a pleasure for us that you welcome us here. It's a pleasure, Freddy. Tell us a little bit to get started about yourself, your profound passion, and also about your exciting project here with Motosmart. Des, we are very eager to learn more about your journey and what drives you. Okay, well, this really started uh, as an initial entrepreneurial venture, a new business endeavor. Well, I've been involved in entrepreneurship for uh, 15 years now. Wow, well, that's quite a lot, huh? So besides your passion for entrepreneurship, you also combined it with your love for motorcycles, is that right? A bit because of product creation? Yes, that was more, it, it was a bit more of an influence from uh, an uncle of mine who is my mentor. Okay. He was the one who encouraged me and guided me. Honestly, I didn't really know much about motorcycles. However, I did have motorcycles so I could get to know, well, the dynamics of how they, how they were ridden, what components they had. Exactly, I mean, to have the experience not just as a, a distributor, because at that time we were only distributors, but also as a user. And when did you start, beyond just being a distributor, to make the parts, to become creators of, of, uh, of parts for business lines? The manufacturing project has really been around for about five years, more or less. Yes, it's not that long. As for distribution, we've been doing that for about eight years. And throughout this whole process, how did your work change with the direct introduction of the laser cutting machine? We used to cut with plasma, you know, as of before. So clearly it was a much more rustic and somewhat rudimentary process, a bit like... And more time consuming. Very time consuming, very time consuming because, well, we had to deburr, we had to... Uh, even just making circles, they weren't really circles, they were more like ovals. So uh, it was a, a difficult process, there wasn't much precision, and our quality just wasn't what it should have been. Tell me a little about that experience. How did you come to know Forza? Did you find it on the internet, Google? I don't know, maybe on YouTube, or maybe someone referred you. What was your experience like? Uh, it was actually through social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, where I was just browsing. And uh, the image you project gave me a lot of confidence, the performance you show. For me, that's, I think that's the foundation, the pillar of what helped me make my decision. So tell me a little about the machine itself. What is it used for? What specific kinds of materials do you typically cut? And what exactly is the detailed process for which you primarily use the laser cutting technology? Okay, so we primarily use robust materials like high quality carbon steel, especially at the initial stages of production, which was indeed our main and most fundamental raw material for manufacturing our products. Stainless steel and aluminum as well. Here we meticulously craft the specialized slider grills which are precisely engineered with small, durable plates that are expertly fitted onto the motorcycle's frame. These essential components are entirely manufactured and assembled right here, ensuring superior craftsmanship and perfect integration. And uh, Raul, when the machine arrived, did it also give you the opportunity to create more products, more business lines, or maybe more motorcycle parts? Well, I think that part of being a business owner or entrepreneur is always looking for possibilities and seeing what you can do with a machine. So. Right away, my mind started turning. I started thinking, what can I do? What can I do? So I started looking into the market we were already in because we also have a home decor line where we haven't used the machine yet. I already have a lot of ideas, but we just haven't had the time yet. So as you saw, we're working at full capacity. So little by little, we're going to start to... I already have a lot of ideas. So little by little, we're going to... Of course, tell us a little about the experience of the forces guys who have come here to Motosmart. Okay, I think the experience has been spectacular since the machine arrived. From the moment they unloaded it and set it up, they asked us, where do you want us to put it? From that moment, I thought, wow, that's awesome. So everything just flowed really well. So they came to, um, to, to install it. An engineer came to do the installation, and he spent a whole day setting it up, ran tests, and then told us, tomorrow, we'll start with the training. The training was very quick, and I have to say phenomenal starting from the theoretical part, because that's something that, well, others just don't do. It's something other providers offer. The comprehensive training program is very thorough. It meticulously starts from the fundamental basics of precisely what is involved in carefully handling a fiber optic or laser machine. I genuinely believe that anyone can effectively become a skilled operator, obviously, as long as you have the basics and follow the rules they set. I truly believe that the entire experience, because it genuinely is an immersive experience, is absolutely spectacular and quite remarkable. Honestly, I'm very satisfied, so much so that I've already ordered the second one. 
So we're now waiting for our second Forza 1 to arrive and well, um, I mean the engineers are highly trained, very very well prepared. I think, I think part of your success has been that you know what you're doing. And, and I think that information and learning never end. And you all are constantly keeping yourselves up to date. Yes. Tell me a little about your day-to-day -day and your challenges as an entrepreneur, right? Uh, well, my day-to-day -day is, um, well, I get up every day, check my to-dos mainly on my phone. I check what messages, what messages there are. Regarding the requirements we have here, we're working around the clock. So I try to set myself up with a sort of in-between schedule. The truth is, I also have people who are very, very... Um, you trust your team, yes. Yes, I think I, um, I trust them a lot and I also try to give them the freedom to, to be able to make um, decisions. Absolutely. And well, that's, that's pretty much my day-to-day. -day. My main challenge is, well, clearly time. Of course. Time and, and the tough negotiations, of course. So I always try to, to stay um, on top of things, to, to keep an eye on our business partners so that I can um, meet their... Absolutely. Meet their demands. Also, could you please give us a helpful message for people who might be feeling quite unsure about whether or not to purchase a laser metal cutter? Yes. It really is an investment. It's, it's, um, for me, right now, it's been the best investment I've made since I started my business. Even, I mean, now as an entrepreneur, because it speeds up my pro, uh, my processes, I get better quality. And on top of that, the possibilities you have with a machine like this are huge, especially because of the speed and the precision they offer. Yes. So, um, honestly, I think that if you're still on the fence, don't overthink it because opportunities like this aren't for everyone and they don't last forever. And well, that's the opportunity, right? With the, uh, the opportunity this uh, machine gave us, which is... Um, and, I, and maybe I didn't ask you much about this because this machine is specifically designed to be very accessible and also um, for, for, for consistency. For example, it's single phase, right? Yes, the, the efficiency in terms of electricity costs or, well, in terms of power consumption, for us it drops significantly. A plasma cutter consumes a lot, generates a lot. I mean, you need a 480 transformer just to bring it down to 220. So the startup, the initial power draw of that machine is intense, right? So cost benefit. Besides, and so I suppose you recover your investment pretty early too, right? Very quickly. This one, yes. In fact, I think I've already recovered. Actually, I already recovered the investment in two months. There you go, guaranteed. Raul, thank you so much for having us, for opening the doors of your shop, your business to us. And well, friends of Forza Lazar, that's all for today here from Motosmart in the state of Mexico. See you next time.